Thanks for staying with us. So last week, Governor Babajide Songwulu inaugurated a six-member panel of inquiry to investigate the cause of the collapse of the 21-story building in Nikoyi, Lagos. On the show today, we have with us the chairman, Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, Lagos State Chapter, Town Planner Ayo Adejimo. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning. So this is what we know, for, based on what the governor had said, I think by Saturday morning, um, we had about 42 confirmed dead, 15 alive. 49 have filled the missing persons form, and um, search and recovery is still ongoing. And they, the, the governor has also provided um, funds for those to support bearers of those who have passed and also to support those who would need help at least to, to kickstart their life now that their breadwinners may have passed on. But my first question to you, sir, is as a town planner yourself, and I know you've worked with the current chairman of the panel, uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Aindi, who was here mm -hmm. recently, um, what do you think should be the first step as this panel goes out there to inquire? What, what, what should we, what should they do? What should they, how, how do they start the inquiry? What are the first steps you would say they should do or would you advise? Or what should I just expect from them as they begin to investigate this um, collapse? Thank you very much. Um, you see, let me first uh, commiserate with the people of uh, Lagos State, especially the Lagos State government. Uh, we as a body, we um, feel the uh, unfortunate incident and we want to uh, commiserate with the families of uh, uh, the fatalities and especially the Lagos State Government. Uh, the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, Lagos State Chapter, uh, feels worried uh, about the unfortunate incident. But that, as me, we pray that uh, God will grant the uh, departed uh, peace, uh, rest in peace. Um, going back to your question, uh, let me also state that uh, the members of the committee, the investigative panel, uh, were carefully selected by the governor and his wisdom. Um, they know what to do, and uh, we don't want to prevent. And actually, what uh, they should first do, that I think as a town planner, is to um, which is also one of the uh, assignments of the panel to find out the cause or the causes of the uh, collapse. So uh, as a panel, they will come together to uh, find out basically uh, and professionally the, the building that collapsed had an approval, development permits. Yeah. If it asks, what number of floors uh, was, approved. was approved for the building? So these are the technicalities that the committee will look at and find out if actually, I, I know they have an engineer, and I'm very sure that they will also take um, submissions from professional bodies and from individuals to find out if actually the building had uh, a structural defect, because these are some of the remote causes of the, uh, of the collapse. Cause of the collapse building. Okay, so um, please, can you help me understand? So we, um, for such a building, I know that there will be um, a structural engineer in charge. There will be architects, architect, the role of the architect. What's the role of town planning in that um, building? And is there anything, a town, an effective town planning process would could there, could there be anything that could have been done from the town planning perspective <laughs> to prevent such from happening? Yes. Um, as you rightly said, such a project, mm -hmm. and like any other physical development project like that, should have uh, an engineer supervising it. And of course, there will have been an architect that will have designed the building or the mm -hmm. structure. And uh, all professionals in the built industry that have one thing or the other to do with the project have to come in. Uh, let me speak from the uh, point of a town planner, yeah. and uh, as you have asked, it is the um, right of the town planning authority as constituted by the state government, and as it is all over Nigeria, uh, there should be a town planning authority that we uh, <coughs> expected to grant development permits to every physical development, whether it's a, a project of the, of the government, even government itself has to apply 
<clears throat> for development permits from the appropriate town planning authority, mm -hmm. needless to say individual. So every organization, individual, group of people or government has to apply to the town planning authority for the grant of a development permit. Mm. And there are, of course, there are documents that will be requested, mm. that will be required from the developer to submit, which will be uh, assessed before the uh, development permit is granted. And so it is the duty of the town planning office to look at the architectural drawing, look at the structural drawing. Don't forget that in town planning office, it's, only, it's not only town planners that are there. We have the builders, we have the architects, we have the engineers. Mm -hmm. So they all look at that proposal on paper as presented by the developer. So mm -hmm. this is what they will consider after looking at the technicalities mm -hmm. of the uh, right, of let me, project. Let me, let me go so, okay. Let me go to break. When I come yes. back, we'll continue with this conversation. Stay with us, Rebecca. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So as Nigerians are looking forward to the reports of the panel that has been set up by the governor to inquire on what happened at the Ekoyi Collapse Building. We have with us the chairman of the Lagos Town Planner um, Association, Mr. Dejimon, to share further light on what, how this investigation might be carried out. So we have, go ahead, Mr. Yes, yeah, so um, in this sort of inquiry, I would like to know the people, the stakeholders who would be questioned directly in relation to the collapse that has happened. And how easy or difficult do you think this inquiry would be, considering the fact that the owner of the building is dead? At least he may have been able to provide some more information. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, virtually every uh, professional body in the built environment, we are seven in numbers um, that will be involved, that will be asked to uh, make submissions. And of course, um, Members of the public will also be uh, requested to make uh, submissions and uh, other stakeholders uh, that may be involved. The insurance company mm. can be uh, also invited to make submission. And, and of course, as I said, other members of the public are also uh, qualified to make submission to the panel. So these are the things that the panel will bring together. Uh, to form their uh, report that will be presented to the government. Right, so do you the, think... Okay, okay, yeah, the second part of the question, now that the owner died, unfortunately... Uh, now that the owner is dead, um, the panel, or let me say the government, uh, knows what to do about that. In the sense that uh, now that he's dead, if he had been alive, he would have been prosecuted, arrested and prosecuted. Uh, but now that he's dead, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's right. very difficult and okay, possible okay, go ahead, to really uh, hold someone responsible. responsible for that. One of the things that impeded rescue on this collapse site was access of food. Some people were saying that it was not wide way. enough for the mm. kind of machines that would assist in rescue. What would the town planning as a group, what role would you have played in such location? Is it okay to have a location where access... An apartment that will have so many... A, a, a uh, building that will have so many apartments and the only access is one narrow road. road. Should that have been approved? I've been to the site. And uh, I, can, I can see that uh, there's an exit at the back. Okay. So it's not only that road that we see now, maybe mm -hmm. on TV, that Leads provides in. access to the site. There's an exit at the back, mm -hmm. which I believe... Uh, will have been the alternative uh, uh, access okay. to the, to so the would, property. People have been suggesting different possibilities. Was it an earth shift? Was it poor materials? Was it negligence? From your own professional angle, what would you think was the cause of this entire collapse? Uh, well, uh, I wouldn't want to say for now, uh, so as not to preempt the uh, investigative planning. Um, but there are a lot of factors that could uh, cause building collapse, um, not really about this uh, subject matter, but talking about building collapse generally, there are a lot of, even the two buildings could collapse. Who collapse. Mm. Yes. If um, there's compromise in the building materials used, and of course, uh, if uh, adequate materials are not used, 
uh, where uh, the construction was supposed to take 20 bags of cement and the developer or the uh, contractor was trying to manage the resources and they, they, they decide to use 10. Mm. It may cause mm. the collapse of the building. And even if they have used the best of the material, but if quantity was not enough, so, so how, it how, let, let, let me just, I want to put this thing in proper perspective because, yes. because you're a town planner. We yes, want to have an idea because that the, the, the chairman of this panel is a town planner also. He's a president, yes. national president, Mr. Um, Tony Aindi. So we just want to have an idea what he's thinking, because I know you're not in the committee, you're no, not in the panel, no. but what his approach would be. So you said that they might find out from Alausa if they have the necessary approvals. Let's just yeah. imagine that box is ticked. Mm -hmm. They have all the approvals for 21 mm -hmm. floors. Yes. What else could have gone wrong? Is it just the materials or what could have happened that would cost this? Yes, if, if it had uh, an approval for 21 floors, yes. then the, the colors might have been from structural defects. Mm. Might be from structural defects because Having an approval for 21 floors uh, did not say that the building should collapse. Mm. I've just said that uh, even a two-floor building can collapse sure. if it was not uh, uh, properly constructed. Right. So for the fact that a, a 21 building, there are 25 floor buildings. Around that, the area. Around yes. the area. 30 floor them. buildings are in Lagos mm -hmm. of 15, 20 years old, mm -hmm. so, and they did not collapse. So building does not collapse on paper. Mm. When town planning authority give um, development permit to a, to a, to a structure, they, it is now left for the builders, the architect, and the engineers that are in charge of the construction of the building to ensure that the building was properly uh, developed. Mm. Because let me liken it to um, a situation whereby the road safety corps gives a driver's license and the driver had an accident, and you want to say that they should query the road safety. Mm -hmm. Because when, when he wanted to get the license, he passed through the test, the test mm -hmm. and he passed, and he was granted the license to drive. And if he had an accident, it's not the fault of the road safety. So it is the same thing. When town planning authority uh, grants development permit to develop to a, mm -hmm. to a, to a structure, the building does not collapse on paper, mm. as I said. So, so is it the, the construction, it is the construction that had effect, that had it, a defect. Is it, is it also possible that the, the quality of materials, now I don't mean that mm. there was a, um, you know, cut, cutting of, um, of standards, but yes. if, for instance, someone was discussing with me, there are certain kinds of sand material that are not used for foundational purposes, but they are cheaper. That's the one dredged from the sea directly because of the salt content, which can affect rods and all of that. Is it possible that this is, you know, could happen at, a, at such a place? Yes, like, like I said, that uh, not really talking about this. <laughs> no, equal, no, you know. just, yeah. Generally speaking, when the building collapses, these are some of the factors that could lead to it. Mm. When poor materials were used or inadequate materials were used. So you are very correct to say that the materials that were used for a building that collapsed were, were poor or were not up to standard. Yes. yes so so I would like you to, sorry, stop me, to um, help us understand where the job of a town planner starts and ends. So for instance, you give an approval for a building. Do you just you know, give that approval and walk away and you don't come back to check. Are there some regular checks that you do to ensure that they are following the rules and guidelines based in the planning that you've gotten license for? Yes, for Lagos State, um, there's an agency that is in charge. So the, the, the job of the town planning authority does not stop at granting of approval. development permits. Okay. The, it, it is also the responsibility of the town planning authority to monitor what it has approved and see if the developer is not contravening, if the, that the developer is building according to the approval. Do they actually data. monitor? Because they, we've they, seen they, cases they have where... A, they have agencies that monitors that. Do they monitor? Yeah. You know what I'm they asking, do. sir? We've seen cases where the building has been completed and then they come and say this was not in the plan. Mm -hmm. So where were they when those structures were being erected yeah, that was sense. not in the plan? You see, in, in matters like this, there is something that we know that comes in, and that is Nigerian factor. Mm. Mm. You see, 
a lot of people do a lot of things that call yes that <laughs> is against the law mm. or the regulations mm. in a situation whereby the development permit is granted and people contravene and in an attempt to ensure that we want to confirm whether what you are building or what you have built is in line is in line with what was granted you 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 find some restrictions Mm. To the extent that uh, some people even uh, get the support of the police, of the security agencies, mm. to prevent the, the uh, agencies, the staff of the agencies from carrying out their responsibility, as in to monitor what you have developed mm. or what you are developing. Okay, thank you for opening that yeah. can, because we'd like yes. to develop on that. When, when that happens, what happens? Yeah. When, 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 when somebody is well connected mm -hmm. yes. and, and, and stops the law from mm -hmm. taking its course, what, what happens? Do? We'll take that after this break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So before the break, um, you took us to when there are powerful people involved. Because whether you like it or not, this is, this is Nigeria. You know, somebody knows somebody that knows somebody. So you're saying something that in a situation whereby um, an owner of a building is highly connected, what happens? How, what does a town planner do in that kind of situation? You see, um, every, 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 every project has a process. Uh, if the town planning office uh, wants to discover uh, a contravention, there is a process to uh, reach the property owner. And these are notices that will be served on the owner. Uh, if the owner is present on the site, they serve him basically. But if it's not there, they paste it there and there will be a picture so that there will be an evidence that. Uh, uh, the notice was served. But, like I said, Nigerian factor, mm. we like to cut corners, we mm. like to uh, bribe our ways uh, and see things done legally. So, it is not uncommon to see uh, situations like that whereby the developer will refuse to respond to contravention notices served on him. Okay, so, um, sadly, in this case, the owner of the company that was building passed on in that building. However, the investigation is going to go on to, call, to find out what caused it. Already, um, there's been a bit of disciplinary action in that the GM of Lagos State Building Control Agency was suspended. Um, some said it's a way of easing him out. Um, um, in a, easy easing him out, yeah, in an easy way. But apart from the building control agency, there is also material testing and there is also town planning. There are many agencies involved that are supposed to have been conducting regular checks on that building to ascertain the quality of material used, to give approval for each level. What are we hoping to achieve with this investigation? Are they going to pen down everyone who signed on any approval letter? on that building? Are they going to be penalized? What would be the punishment meted out to? Because other people that are involved were also culpable in these 44 lives that we've mm. lost so far. What would be the punishment meted out to these people whose table papers were placed, whose mm. tests were supposed to carry those tests, and what kind of justice can be given to the families who lost their lives now? I just gave an example the other time that... Um, when the licensing office gives someone a license to drive, mm. that does not say that the, the driver should go and drive recklessly. Because when he was doing the test, he passed. He passed. Mm. So when town planning authority was looking at the document submitted by a developer, I don't want to refer to this one, mm. generally speaking, when a developer wants to develop a building, you have some documents that you present to the appropriate uh, urban planning office. This includes your architectural drawing, the structural drawing, the soil test reports, mm. all other documents requested. And they will look at them critically. Like I told you, it's not only town planner that is in the town planning office. Mm. So the engineer in the town planning office will look at the engineering details. The architect will look at the uh, architectural details. 
the quantities of your we look at the, the lands of your all of them come together they look at it but it is the because it is the town planning office and the head of a town planning office is a town planner is the one that will give the approval. final approval. approval so that's why you will see the name of the approving town planning officer on the building plan so if he approves he did not approve from town planning point of view mm. or experience or professional skill he will have looked they, all of them will have looked at the uh, the, the, the plan documents. in details mm. before the approval is granted. So it's a process mm. and it takes time. It's not just something that uh, right. they will do in a haste. Let me, let so me... when you look at it like that and time planning grants approval, it is also uh, uh, something that doesn't stop there. Mm. As you said, there is a con building control agency that mm. monitors Keeps monitoring. monitoring the development okay. to ensure that it complies with the approval granted. I've been called and holding for a while. Lekki from Lekki. Good morning. Are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. You're live. Go ahead, please. <laughs> I, I wanted to contribute. Hello. We I can, can hear you, you madam. I'm here. I'm at Lucky. Yes, listen to the TV. Okay, well, listen you. to me, not the TV. Go Am ahead. Am I close? Am I close? I'm not close. Yes. Hello. Oh. Hello, madam. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so listen to me, not the TV. Go ahead, please. Okay. Let's close. Yes, yes. Oh, she's listening to the TV. Let's leave her. She'll, she'll just... Go ahead, madam. Hello, madam. Oh, I really wanted to hear her. I'm so sorry about that. I guess we lost the line. Okay, we have to wrap up with you um, on this, but I, I guess the, the, my final question to you is, I think just to link up to what Tucker was saying, at the end of the day, we hope that there will be prosecuted mm. at some point, yes. Yeah. So <clears throat> once we see all the levels of approvals that were given or not given, and uh, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. But what, as, as, an, as a professional in this regard, what are your final expectations from the committee, and what would we in four, do you think in four weeks is even enough? to get the answers to this question that we require? Yes, uh, like I said earlier on, that uh, the committee comprises of experienced professionals uh, that uh, were carefully selected to uh, do the investigation and submit their report to the government. I want to believe that um, this that had happened will reduce the incident of being <coughs> collapsed. In, in Lagos and even in Nigeria in general, because I'm very sure, uh, looking at the uh, caliber of people, especially my uh, national president being the chairman of that investigative panel, I want to believe that um, by, the, by the time the committee submits its report, right. uh, it's, it's, it will bring sanity mm. to building industry and construction. For, what, for, for whatever it's worth, we, we had the privilege of talking to somebody who has worked with Mr. Tonya in the, in the past and said that <coughs> he can vouch for him that he's an incorruptible man. So we we, 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 we wait to see mm. the outcome mm. of this Details. committee because with the Tony um, Ayede chairing it, we mm. hope that the truth will, will come emerge out, yeah. and we'll know, know exactly what happens. I can assure you that, that the committee will come out with uh, okay. good reports. That is all we can take on this segment. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back.